too, but it's not a campsite. We have to pull up here because we got some squatters. Pinky of death or flying headbutt. Already Don't forget to stop by our website after this video for all your travel inspo and check out our new line of merch with sizing from the little tackers through to your triple XL. There is literally something for everyone. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Righto ladies and gents, let's get you up to speed with this one. After a crazy near death experience rolling into Birdsville, which actually rattled us quite a bit, we end up regrouping and regathering ourselves before heading east out of town. Wasn't long before we come across something pretty extraordinary the Dreetime Serpent near the town of B. Tuta. As the sunset was fast approaching, we pulled into Longreach for a quick overnight stay. But the next morning we swung north as we found out the big rains have been following us. But it doesn't matter how much we travelled or how far we went, eventually they were kind of catch up to us. So we end up pulling into this little town to hunker down for a bit. Alrighty guys, we finally pulled up stumps. Honestly, like this rain has been following us from South Australia all the way through. So as soon as we hit Birdsville, Longreach, all the way through, it's been stalking us the whole way. And we had to pull up stumps somewhere and ride it out. And it's been this place. And this place is called Hewarden. It's in outback Queensland and it's a wicked little spread. The council has put on an absolute gem of a place. So we've done the uh, donation free camp for a couple of nights just to ride out the rain and then we've come over to the unpowered with shower and toilets because we were just itching to get a nice long warm shower hey bub mm, yeah so good anyway let's come in this frame pudding like people want to see you who wants to see more stuff on the actual camera come around this way sorry in the sun oh god let's see ya Little shorty. Don't. <laughs> and how good's that hot shower? It was good, but the curtain kept touching my body. I was like, get off me. Like, you touching know. Touching your body? Yeah, the curtain I'm gonna kept have to blowing. Get it. The curtain kept what? Like blowing. Stop it. Gross. <laughs> Thing worse than like a, I don't know, a, a curtain touching your body when you're in the shower. You know, like a used. <laughs> I don't know. A used know if you're with me. I anyway, don't know. You're such a fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you probably recognise the name Hewarden. It's part of the Golden Triangle or the Dinosaur Trail. But we're not here for that because we think the Groms are a little bit too young to really appreciate that. And it's a bit of coin to do that. So yeah. uh, we're penny pitchers at the end of the day. But we did. We? we did the Foster King and stuff. Like that yeah. was fun. And we've been to the museum. Like, yeah, museum, so we'll, but... drop, we'll drop the Foster King now. Um, I'll show you overlays and that. It's just out the back of the show ground here. We did find some fossils. That yeah, was so have a look at these ones. We found some and we've actually kept and stuff, which is awesome. So, point is. Give me, give me, I'm just going to check the kids. I'll be back. <laughs> All right. Got to do the checks, the joys of uh, trying to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so while we've been waiting out here, we've actually trying to get into this national park, which is one of these awesome free camp, oh, awesome camps around the area. And it's one of these things that we wanted to tick off, yep. but it's been booked out solid for like eight weeks. So well, it was booked out even last week. Yeah. And then we randomly jumped on and it was We're just available. refreshing, 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 <laughs> refreshing, <laughs> refreshing like trying to get it. <laughs> um, and we've got two days. So we picked up two days there. So we're just about to head in there now, but before we leave, we wanted to check, show you this this place. But it's be fully recommended from us for us to go and check it out before we left here. So check this.
forgot to do is put in the uh, little wiki drop-in for you, uh, so you know where that camp is and everything for you. But we've gone in, stocked up in town. But I must say, the food and the parish balls are just off the freaking rocker. Like yeah. it is crazy expensive. Some of the stuff out here, it's just nuts. Try to stock up before you come, and also a lot of the time it's shut on the weekend. So even just trying to find a Contractions. Come to our campsite, uh, which is Porcupine Gorge, and we've been waiting seven days to get here. And we're excited, we're bumped and everything. Eight. eight days, sorry, miscorrected eight or days. recorrected. And we've pulled into the camp, as you can see. Yeah, we were super pumped, we're excited, like we'd, we haven't done an off grid camp in ages. And this is one we pulled into, but it's not a campsite. We have to pull up here because it's a campsite, but it's somebody else's campsite. we've got some squatters. So these guys are supposed to be vacated by 11 but they haven't got their little tag on there either so i think they're just uh running the luck and see if they can get a couple of nights of free camping so this is the first time we've come across this in two years but i know it's super common out there so yeah, yeah it's just annoying that we've waited so long yeah now we're gonna have to I wait until they come it. back to question them why they're in our site oh, so it wrecks well, the afternoon a little yeah. bit so yeah it's not the and now we're in somebody else's spot so we can't even yeah. go and enjoy ourselves and like yeah, we wanted to get down because this place is amazing like the gorge is supposed to be fantastic which is just over there and we want to get down there and to enjoy it but now we're gonna have to wait until these guys come back and see uh what the geo is might have to get the finger little pinky of death or flying head butts or something like that so what are you laughing at <laughs> what are you laughing at <laughs> yeah right mate oh give me some credit mate i've got a hard head mate i can knock someone up out <laughs> Who likes a bin chicken shirt? Come on, there's got to be a couple of votes there. Bin I think chicken. we need some Lost Tribe shirts. Yeah. Start supporting our own brand, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But be coming very soon. These guys, whoever you are, the wrath is coming. The pinky of death is coming your way. So I took matters into my own hands and uh, took a wander over to this lookout just to find the owner of the Hyundai. 
and have some third worm word words and see if I can sort out what's going on with our campsite, whether it's a double booking or a computer glitch or something like that. So I end up racing over there, having a look around, couldn't find anyone, but I uh, heard a bit of a scuffle in the background get back at the campsite and I raced back over and found Steffi, had one of them in a headlock and throwing the punches in and knee and the eye gouge and scratching and everything and carrying on. It was pretty crazy, wasn't it? Oh, I did it, you tweet. Tell the real story. But that was a cool story. <laughs> no? Alright. No, it was a bit of, um, they were just having too much fun here basically. So we're going down to where they were but they were having an awesome time down there and they just didn't want to leave. So. We um, come in on time and they did a couple of hours over time. So yeah, it was just a single mum, a couple of kids and they were just enjoying themselves. So no home half foul. So we're parked up in a campsite now and we're just about to wander down to check out why this place is one of the best outback Queensland camps around. So, but we're we've had to- you, waiting for West Yeah, he's doing a couple of subs in the dump toilet. You right there, mate? Or are you snapping it off or what? Wiping his bum. <laughs> Alright, so once Wesy wipes his bum, we'll go check this place out. Check it out. Hey, that's a bit of something something. Hey Puddin. How can you be tired? We're going down. Gravity assisted. I know, but it's, it's like... Hey, but this is weird. Look at this. So it says 1.2k uh 1.2k is on the way back up. But it says 1.1 on the way down. That water looks inviting, but apparently there's the pyramid. That looks pretty cool, but apparently the best water holes are up that way, so we're gonna Wander up that way. Come on, little Moomoo. You're sweating already. Let's go get in the water. Oh, she's a gun, mate. She's a gun. She didn't do the whole way down. Oh, come on. Give her some credit, mate. This is all right. So you got little private beaches and stuff. We end up going all the way to the pyramid. So there's other people up there and find your own space along here anyway. So we found this space. It's a little bit deeper here so we can do little pommies and jump in and stuff. But Kids yeah. are ready. You got little private beaches, little waterfall down that way. Peanut in the water. Yeah. Nice and surreal, isn't it? Peanut in the water. It's actually a bit nicer down this way too. There's not as down that and there's like a lot of algae. Oh, it's actually warm. Is it? Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't feel it, Wes. Let's go for a dive in. Wes, are you first? No, you Daddy, go first, you Daddy. Go. You oh, go okay. first. Okay. Off here. Huh? Are you taking? Oh, I've got to get my winter coat out, mate. <laughs> get it out. No judgment. <laughs> I've been stuck in South Australia for six months and those bakeries are too tempting, all right? So give me a break. <laughs> oh, get out of it, you gerbil. <laughs> hold this. Hold this. Ring up. Honestly, Wes. his name should have been Ricky instead of Wes. But anyway. Hopefully there's no Rickies that watch. <laughs> Score out of ten, eh? Whoa, I got a... Alright. Three, two, one. Oh, don't do a full... <laughs> It's shallow! Wow, that's nice! Oh Come on, little one! Hang on! Go, <laughs> George! <laughs> Alright, Help him, he's drowning! He can touch! Yeah, this is sick! Oh, <laughs>
tell you what, what a stellar little afternoon. This has been a good little camp so far, having this at your doorstep, but I'll tell you what, Steph was in and out of there like a cat in a bathtub, eh? Like you were like <laughs> boom, boom and gone. I didn't even get to film you properly. Like you were, as soon as you hit that water, you're out. What's this one doing? <laughs> Head buried down in there. Want some more zinc on, mate. What do you reckon, Wesley? What do you rate this one? Pretty good? We found it one turtle. One turtle? Oh, he's a sneaky turtle, we couldn't get that on film either. But yeah, this has been a good afternoon. Like, this is what we needed. And, you know, a bit more of a, gave us a little bit more pep and stuff being down at this camp. Like, we haven't had much luck lately, have we? No, a we're just, bit of a it's bad always run. nice when you like get back to a free, like not a free camp, but an off-grid yeah. camp, as opposed to being an RV park or something. Yeah, I forgot to say, this has been, what was it, $14 a night. So, National Park, just on the National, Queensland National Park website as well. So, you've made some, uh, nice winter recipe for dinner already already prepped up so we're going to go up there and mm. get the campfire going and put it on the campfire and have a you right there are you going to talk she's me? such a bin chicken oh yeah <laughs> so we're going to um yeah get up there and uh, have some dinner and have an early dinner and um turn in for the night i reckon and then we'll get to explore this place a little bit more yeah All right. see you tomorrow yeah Bye. rough morning this morning um not with where we're staying or anything like that but just with the the kids so um well put in perspective we've had probably a couple of hours off in two years away from the kids and it's starting to wear a little bit thin with us to the point where we like we're itching just to call it quits even like just to pack up and go home and Go, go back to a normal life so they can go into some sort of daycare or something like that and it, it, it's starting to take a toll on us like they woke up in little shits shits and moods this morning and they're just playing on us a fair bit so yeah it's um puts a damper on the things and like it, people don't realize how long and how much we actually spend with them so from the crack of dawn to going to bed like we get it like an hour or two hours to ourselves probably every night and most of the time we're doing something or working on something or I'm editing so it's yeah the downtime's not there um and look that's 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 our problem that's our fault like that's what we do with YouTube and Instagram and everything like that it comes with the territory uh just one of those days we'll bear and grin it and, and push through it but um on another note I found out what that little kangawalla fox rat whatever it was last night it's called a baton and they're actually quite rare so we're actually just here on our seats and stuff and it pulled up just there in front of us and um had a bit of a, a cool time with us he was here for about 20 minutes or so before he moved on so he's very um placid and stuff but they're quite rare these days because of feral cats and everything like that so yeah it was a cool experience like i've never seen one before never heard one before um but yeah something to throw in the mix up here so <laughs> 
So we're back down to the gorge this morning to try to unwind and relax a little bit, but we've got some helping. So we've got some uh, relaxing agents in liquid form. If that doesn't work, we've got some in edible form, which the kids are eating anyway. Let's try the venti. <laughs> that wasn't rehearsed at all. Yesterday I seen this pool a little bit further down, so we come down to explore this bit, and this thing is absolutely magic. So it's like, looks like a little billabong a little bit, eh? Yeah. Let's Heaps of fish. Get out of it, you little cherub. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like a little billabong, a little bit deeper, heaps of fish and stuff. So this is going to be us for today, I reckon. Relax, sunbake, swim. Around, though, like... Yeah, because well, it's blocked off down further, it's sort of built up here, but... Oh, where's he? Where's he? There's chips are for eating for human consumption, not fish consumption. <laughs> Alright, so that turned into a wicked afternoon or a wicked day down there. We ended up spending about 50 hours down there, right? Yeah, it was such so a good. Day. But we've uh, left really early in the morning, come back over to Hewitton. The kids are running amok on the playground again. Found a couple of friends there. This park's wicked. Like every time we come here, they meet people. It's always like, kids, yeah. They're always kids. Um, but that to walk. Burn a bit of energy before you jump in the car. Yeah, we've got our next leg coming up. So, but that walk back out of the gorge, my legs and back feel like. A bag of crushed Doritos this morning, eh? Oh, that's so... It's yeah. We had to basically piggyback Georgie... She made it down there. there. Like, give us some credit. She made it down there, all the way down there. Wes went all the way down and all the way back up, but... Very proud. Carrying that little lump back up that gorge. Oh, it feels like 10 k's, we honestly. Dying. We were dying. <laughs> we were dead. We are very unfit. <laughs> Um, I think it was day two though, like yeah. we didn't have a break in between, so it was just, yeah. Bad, but I reckon Porcupine Gorge, yeah, it's a good one to go out and see, guys. But I do have a little bone to pick with people, though. If you're going to bloody book a site, turn the up, honestly. Like, it, oh. it is ridiculous. The amount of people that are over in that campsite trying to get into Porcupine Gorge and there was just free sites everywhere, like last night, there was like four. Yeah, that are book solid. So this so thing's. Many people wanted to go. Like, oh, I reckon it's so unfair. Too. Like I'm, I'm just having a little bit of a rant this morning about it because it is something that is becoming more common, I suppose, especially over in WA. But like, if you're going to book a site, turn up or cancel it and get a refund so it opens it up for someone else to actually experience that place. Like it is pretty cool. So, but anyway, enough ranting. We're going to close this one down. Uh, Sorry, I'm I am paying attention, I'm just looking over Look at, at the kids. Our crazy children. We'll wrap this one up, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, do all those cool things. And we do thank all you guys that have subscribed and watch us all the time. We really do appreciate it. It is awesome to see your comments and, um, and messages come through or questions and stuff like that. Send them in. We'll answer every single one of them for you. So, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh yeah, make sure you watch this one and this one guys. Peace guys, thanks very much.